Hi guys and welcome to a new Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can go and slow clips, how you can freeze them, reverse and speed them up again. Okay, first you should do go and import your footage and create a scene. I already did and have a nice drone footage clip here. Now, the first thing is you need to find the point where you want to freeze it, where you want to slow it, and where you want to continue playing the normal speed. So let's do it. So here you can see it's a little bird flying through the picture. So I thought maybe we can go and freeze it somewhere like here. So click right, go to show clip keyframes and go to time remapping speed. So let's go to the point where the bird is coming in over here. So now just click control and right click it. So you let, let see this little plus sign. So now it's set it up keyframe. Click now on this point and drag it to the right. The time where it's freeze frame, so maybe till here. Now just go on this little line and drag it down till we reach one. So now when we go over here, it slows down and now here starts zero. So Maybe it's a bit too much, so let's go back. So let's see. Now we go and start to slow it down and now the bird is freezed, right? To make it looking even more awesome because the beginning is really slow already. So let's maybe go and speed this a bit up. So go and just drag this line a bit higher. So let's see. It goes down really quick. So it goes fast. The bird is flying and it stops. Now to reverse it from the freeze frame that we have now, just go to the end where it's freeze, like here. Now go hit the C button so you can cut it, cut it there, delete the rest, mark this clip, control C, go a bit further, control V, and now it's the same clip. So let's go and just reverse it. Right click, speed and duration, reverse speed and click OK. Now move both clips together. OK, let's play it. So now the bird is flying, freezes and flies back. It's really nice. OK, if you enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a like and maybe subscribe for more tutorials. And I hope I see you next time. Bye.